Welcome everyone back to another lesson on Blender training. The Blender version that I'm using, which I'm sure you must be using, is Blender 2.80, the beta version. Today I'm going to be talking about collections, which is all phenomenal, and I'm going to be talking about groups. If you did not know already, collection takes the place of Blender 2.79 and beyond, it's replacing that layer system. Layers were wonderful, but they had one critical flaw. If you remember, or if you ever used Blender 2.7 and beyond, you would notice in the bottom right, right hand side of Blender, it has those 20 little boxes. Those 20 little boxes were called layer boxes. And the thing about them, or limit, the thing that was limiting about them was that there were only 20 of those boxes. Now if you made a huge animation or some type of huge sophisticated scene, you definitely know you needed more than just 20 simple boxes to put your various items on. And the wonderful thing about Blender 2.80, those collections, they are like layers, but they are limitless from what I know. They're limitless. They can go up to the thousands, the hundreds, 50. You got 50 unique layers or collections. That's the wonderful thing about them. Now, I'm going to be talking about collections, but I want to also be talking about groups. Blender 2.79 and above had something called groups. Now, I've been experimenting with Blender 2.80 for the last couple months like you all have, but I never could find the replacement for groups. I never could do that. I never, I, I, I searched on YouTube over and over to find Blender 2.80 groups or equivalent and never found it. I discovered, so if you hang tight, I'm going to show you how groups are implemented in, two, in Blender 2.80. All right, so let's start. Right here, I have some silicon. Now. The thing that I have done differently, as you see, all my little objects are green. And you, you know, ladies and gentlemen, and 99% of Blender videos, they always make them that boring gray color. If you would like to make <coughs> your, uh, your objects a different color, you can go to shading. You choose Metcap, which I have, and you choose whatever Metcap you want to make you happy. In this case, the green color makes me happy, so I've chosen that. Chosen that. So if you want to, you don't have to stay with that boring gray color. You can go to Metcaps and choose whatever shade that you want. Okay, so let's go on. Now, collections, as you see over here to my far left, these are is the collections. I already made my collections. I, want, I have one called Cubes, which contains only cubes. I made a collection called Taurus, which only can have those Taurus in it. I made one for Sphere, which only has spheres, spheres in it. I'm going to show you how to make these collections. Now, I'm going to choose one of my cylinders in the back. Oops, I'm, I'm still used to hitting that right mouse button. i got to click the left mouse button to select my particular object. Now I'm going to hit M. I hit M. I already have my collections, as I said. The main collections, I have my cubes, I have my tools, I have my spirit. If you want to create a new one, which I'm not, you can go right here and create a new collection. I'm just going to add that cylinder to my cube. I'm going to click on this next cylinder. Hit M again, which is a carry over from the layer method. You used to have to hit M to go to your layers. But now you hit M, it goes to your collections. I'm going to put this one in my Taurus. Nothing appears to have happened. I click on my last cylinder, hit M once more, and I click S Sphere. Now, this, the, uh, this is the major difference with um, Blender 2.80 collections. In 2.7 and beyond, if I move my objects to a, a different layer, it would disappear instantly. That no, that's no longer the case with Blender 2.80 beta at least for now your objects do not disappear they stay right on the main collections to make them disappear I either can hit H 
I hit Alt-H to bring it back, or I can go over here to my right, click on Cube, and I call it my cylinder right here. I click on this eye symbol, and now it's gone. I'm going to do that for each of them. I'm going to my Torus section. I see my cylinder. Click on it, it's gone. I'm going to my last <coughs> cylinder. I'm going to Sphere. Click on it. I click on this eye symbol. Now it's gone. Now if you notice, over here with the eye symbol, they have these different viewports. I never used the viewports yet. The only one that matters to me is this one with the um the camera. Disable and vendors, but I never disable any of my collections, so I never use it. So we have one for the the immediate report. Hide it. You can go to this disable, but that doesn't hide it. And I can disable it and it's object report. It just called disable. That means if I did something to it, it probably wouldn't show up. So right now I'm gonna go back and bring on all of my cylinders. I go right here, I'm bring this one back. I go to Taurus, I click on that I symbol again. It's back. Last but not least, I go to the cube, look at my cylinder, click the I symbol, and it's back. Now, and now let me see the part. Let me see, deselect. Oops. Uh, select. The part that was getting me with Blender 2.8 is, is how do groups work? If you see over here, if I click on my object, it's in my cylinder is in a group, but nothing it's in one of those collections, but it's the only thing that's highlighted is just my cylinder. I was saying, how can I highlight, how can I get all of my how can I collect all of my objects in one big group uh, group group so you have to click on your name I click on cube I go to uh, did I click on select oh that's not it let me go to my I mean, I mean let me do this sorry about that I'm gonna cl right click on that I collect c select objects then you see if you notice all my objects have that orange that orange highlight if I hit G to move it, they all move in one group. So that's how groups are implemented in Blender 2.80. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna click on my Taurus collection. Click, right click on it. I click Select Objects. Right click, Select Objects. Now you see, I hit G, they all move. I hit S, they all are scaled. I'm going to scale it with Z. You see that? They all are scaled on G. I am mean, on, on Z. I'm going to go to my sphere. Right click. And I sele select all objects. But I'm going to right click. Select objects. And I want to hit G for move. And now you see they move. So that's the bigger, that's the way how you collect groups in Blender 2.80. Collection part is easy. It's easy to make those collections. But you want to say, how do I how do I select all of my objects in the collection? So you go to right click and you just select all your objects, and that's the equivalent of a group. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If I gave you some insight, insight into how groups are implemented in, two, in Blender 2.80 beta, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to hear future content, if you want to, you can subscribe. All right, thank you all. Enjoy your blendering. Enjoy your animation. Enjoy making models. Enjoy sculpting or whatever you like to do in Blender. I hope you enjoy immensely. You all have a wonderful day.